This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, March the 14th, 2019. Today, the Roman Martyrology has three entries for unnamed saints who were martyred in various circumstances. It reads, At Rome, the birthday of 47 holy martyrs who were baptized by the Apostle St. Peter while in the Mamertine prison with St. Paul, his fellow Apostle. After an imprisonment of nine months, they all fell by the sword of Nero for their generous confession of faith. In the province of Valeria, two saintly monks who were hanged on a tree by the Lombards, and although dead, were heard singing psalms even by their enemies. In the same persecution, a deacon of the church of Morisco, who was beheaded for his confession of faith. The Roman martyrology has a fascinating past. At the beginning, it was kept as a record of all known martyrs. Later, as the church grew and the global population of Christians passed a million, and then a hundred million, and then a billion, that became impossible. At some point in the last 300 years, the martyrology began to be updated only in very high-profile cases. Its primary purpose now is not as an historical text, but as a part of the traditional office of prime which was suppressed following the Second Vatican Council. Traditional religious orders still chant these short statements about the individual's martyrdoms at their daily prayers, and it's an optional devotion for us as well. Today is the birthday in 1879 of Albert Einstein. And contrary to what you read in fifth grade, he was an outstanding and accomplished student, even in math, and was blessed with a unique sense of perspective. Much like Sherlock Holmes or Hercule Poirot, he would look at data that many other people had analyzed and considered, and he would see patterns that they missed. 1905 in particular was a kind of miracle year for him. At the age of 26, he published four papers that changed just about everything we know about nuclear physics. This is where quantum physics began. It's the origin of Brownian motion and possibly the most famous advanced physics formula of all time. E equals MC squared was first written down. It would be 16 years before he won his one and only Nobel Prize, although he deserved about eight. Einstein's personal life was a bit of a mess and he found himself working on some projects he didn't like most notably the Manhattan Project, which built two atomic bombs which were dropped in Japan in 1945. Still, Albert Einstein changed the world, and there are few people about whom we can say that honestly. He died in 1955 in Princeton, New Jersey. And finally today, in 1863, Casey Jones was born. Like Johnny Appleseed, whose birthday we remembered a few days ago, Casey Jones is an icon of Americana. His story, put to song by his friend Wallace Saunders, is one of perseverance and sacrifice and the American ideal. Casey Jones was born in Tennessee, and he worked the railroad, like so many people did, at the end of the war between the states. He was an innovator of sorts when it came to train whistles, but he was known for his hard work and for his concern of arriving on time. In 1895 in Mississippi, he famously rescued a child from the tracks. And in February of 1900, he was promoted to the so-called Cannonball Run, four trains that made the four legs of the trip from Chicago to New Orleans. He ran the Memphis to Canton, Mississippi leg, And he died trying to make up time after leaving Memphis over an hour late due to another conductor's errors. Other conductors were doing the same thing. And when Casey Jones realized that the trains were going to collide, rather than jump from the locomotive, he died doing everything he could to save lives. He is memorialized in the ballad of Casey Jones. And his birthday is today. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.